In today's video we will be reviewing Pratic Pen Broad Edge Pens and Pratic Pen Multiliners. Hi everyone and welcome back to Calligraphy Masters channel. My name is Milenis and today we will try to find out if Pratic Pen are better than Automatic Pens. So this is what Pratic Pen looks like. It is a kind of a replica of automatic pens, even though it's not really a replica. And the main difference between Pratic Pen and Automatic Pen is that uh, Automatic Pen is made uh, out of a plastic body and a metal tip, where Pratic Pen is made out of wood, again with metal nib. It has this uh, leather cover, which is super nice in my opinion. It gets dirty with ink sometimes. However, it's, it is cleanable and uh, an issue that you can experience with this leather is uh, I've experienced it with one of my pens. The leather came out, but it's fixable. Just add a few drops of uh, glue and you're ready to go again. It's wood, and, uh, which makes it better because it's not as breakable as automatic pen. And uh, the weight in the hand feels a bit better as well. Other than that, they are pretty much similar with automatic pens. The inks that I'm gonna be using in this video are Colorex by PBU which is a watercolor and it's one of my favorite things to use and here is uh, something that uh, automatic pens doesn't come with and this is this beautiful leather pen roll which makes the Pratic pen even more special in my opinion. Starting the test of the pens with making two strokes one line and a letter A with each pen size, starting from the smallest from the smallest size, moving up to the biggest one. The ink that you see in the glass is actually uh, watercolor by Arteza, but uh, I mixed it with way too much water, so I'm not gonna be using it this much. But just so you know what is what is in the glass pot. Unlike the automatic pens, Pratic pen writes better on one side of the tip where with automatic pens the same it is the same with both sides and you don't have this issue this could this could be considered a minus but i don't think it's such a big deal and it's something that you can get used with automatic automatic pens used to be very expensive and that's the reason why i never got one but by the time of editing this video I saw that they dropped their prices and one automatic pen cost the same as one Pratic pen and that's $12 a piece. Who needs to use Pratic pen? Well, in my opinion, everyone who loves letters can use them, but I think it's more for people like me who like to write with bigger sized nibs. So if you own a Pilot or a regular dip pen with a broad edge nib, and you're cons considering getting a Pratic pen, I recommend you to get the bigger sizes only, unless you don't want to get the letter pen row, which comes only when you order all eight sizes. Automatic pens are made by a big company in a factory where Pratic pens are all custom handmade pens, which is always better and more special in my opinion. Pratic pens have not paid me to make this review and I know there are some issues with, with it, like uh, being able to write better on the one side of the tip and uh, the letter on the holder is getting out but still I really enjoy writing with those pens and are probably one of my favorite tools at this moment and uh, yeah the issues that they have are really small in my opinion and I would definitely recommend to all people who want to have something special and different to get a Pratic pen Please keep in mind that writing with a Pratic pen it's much slower and a bit difficult than what you see in this video. For example, each, each piece where I wrote Pratic pen took me between 2 and 3 minutes to write it. Where with a regular broad edge nib or a Pilot parallel pen this process is much faster and easier. However, the beauty and the details in the strokes that you are able to produce with a Pratic pen or an automatic pen is something that is worth taking the time and is something that will bring you a true satisfaction if you are someone who loves calligraphy as much as I do. And if you are watching this video, I'm pretty sure you love it this much. 
So, if you're wondering if, sh if, you, sh if you should get a Pratik pen, you don't need to wonder anymore. This is something uh, every calligraphy lover must have. I don't know, at least me, I'm a person who loves to have all kinds of different tools. I like to experiment with different nibs, with different uh, pens. It's just something I love doing, you know, it's, it's the way it is when you are so deeply in love with calligraphy. But I don't know, it could be only me. Let me know how it is with you guys. Almost finished with testing all the sizes and as you can see the bigger the, the nib size becomes, it becomes uh, harder to get all the text on the paper. And this is uh, A3 paper, which is pretty big, but still like, for example, this one, this, uh, the biggest size is 25 millimeter and that's something that you need a lot of space to write with. And uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier, but when you move to the bigger sizes of the nibs, you gotta be very careful once you get the ink out of the bottle, because it's very easy to spill it on the paper and to make a huge mess. Other than that, they're all super great and you can see the results yourself. And after the regular broad edge uh, Pratic pens, it's time to move to the multiliners. They have different multiliners, some have two, others have three or four uh, lines in the stroke. And they are a bit more difficult to use, but also the results are much more amazing. But this review you will be able to see in the next video. So that's it for today's video guys. Uh, I don't own any automatic pens, however I have written with them and to be honest I prefer Pratic pen. Let me know if you have automatic or Pratic pens and which one do you prefer. If you enjoyed the video a thumbs up will be much appreciated. If you're new to the channel subscribe with the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video and as always keep writing.